Hi and welcome to this week's video. I'm going to do a short series of videos about the Chinese K40 laser. There is lots of videos online about this so I'm just going to be giving you my personal point of view about buying a K40 laser. This laser was about £300, maybe £350. It came in from Germany but this was before we parted from the EU. Um, I don't think at the minute you can actually get this in from Germany. I think there's a few problems, but I'm sure the borders will be sorted out at some point and you'll be able to get these again. Uh, this is a K40. It has a 700mm tube in. It's, it's just, just about, it's nearly a year old I've had it now. Not done a lot. Well, I suppose I have done a lot to it, really. I mean... When it first came out, I had it running, but the day that I got it, I had two dots coming out of the tube, which caused me some problems. I did have it working for a little while, but it caused me some problems, so I had to upgrade the tube. I've also upgraded the mirrors, so I went for this MCW laser mirrors and the lens, so I've changed all those over. Um, they were in quite good condition. I've kept the old ones because um, they were in quite good condition and if anything happens to the others I've got something just to exchange it over with. The other upgrade I've done, I've done air assist. So I have the Halia ACO328 air compressor. I took the original bed out, cut the exhaust and I have made two adjustable beds to date. Um, I'm going to be removing the second one. It worked really well, the second one. It had its own power supply. This is the remnants of it. This will probably go into some other kit at some point. And I 3D printed just um, a little joystick. And it's got uh, Arduino, which is in that box there. But um, I'm going to be removing that. And I'm going to be doing a video about the next kit that I've got in. The other thing is, obviously I live in Highlands of Scotland, now our night time sits at about minus five. The laser pump gets left on overnight and I have a fish tank heater right now, which I have to switch on and off myself. I think for next year I'm going to go to a system that controls the temperature. When it hits a certain temperature it'll switch it on. But for this year, that's what I've got. I also use antifreeze in the container i'm not quite sure if that ends up damaging your tube to be honest you know i look at the forums but I'm, I'm not sure if it does distilled water i found really hard to get so it's deionized water i use in it that's all underneath here i have just a plastic box from tesco's which i keep all of that in and i have a small temperature gauge that sits underneath there and it'll tell me the temperature of the water so it's 16 celsius at the minute and there's no heater on because i had it running overnight it's the temperature sitting quite well and i've got a heater on in here but you, you do have to really look after the tube because at minus five it would definitely freeze here if i didn't have antifreeze in it um because if it only goes down to about one celsius i'll leave it without anything it's got antifreeze in it will not freeze at that and it hasn't done but anything below zero i then put the heater on just to be sure so yeah that's about it i've not done anything else spectacular i haven't changed the extraction yet it will happen that um but obviously i'm just chipping away at the stuff bit by bit because it this ends up to be quite an expensive project but you know, for me to buy a 40 watt, you know, machine that's ready and able to go is, is roughly about £10,000. So I would much rather pay £350 and do all the extra work to get it going. It works beautifully. It cuts beautiful in that. Um, the main thing that I think is the problem with them is getting the alignment up, the laser alignment. So you've got three mirrors, obviously you've got your one here your one on your gantry there and your third mirror in your lens getting those lined up is the biggest the biggest thing really that is the most important and making sure that you've got your focal distance uh, took me a little while to get that sorted I before I replaced the tube I already thought I had it sorted and I did um, because you're always thinking when you get a new machine that it's something you're doing yourself but I'm going to 
put a video down below it's the best video I've seen about aligning your mirrors because that explains it really well and getting the third mirror it also explains all about that and he's got a long video and a short video I will put the short one in and then you can go looking for the longer video if you want it so this is the first in that video so it's just basically a rundown of what my machine has if you've got any questions let me know there's probably only going to be maybe two or three but I might add videos I'm not going to do videos about Inkscape I've got the original board in this I've not changed it over for anything so I use um, K40 Whisperer to put the files in and I lose Inkscape I use Inkscape to design my projects and I use K40 Whisperer to put it in works absolutely perfect I haven't had any problems when I first got out the machine that was another thing the MA, MA uh, meter which tells you the current that's coming through the tube that had that was broken when I first got it out so I replaced that so this is the first video the second video I'm going to be talking about is the replacement I'm going to be putting an adjustable lens in with another table I'm going to start filming that one today so that hopefully these videos go out quite quickly together. That is the only reason really that I'm doing this, this videos is because um, he's got great instructions on how to do the kit and fit it and everything. But what I wanted was I was looking for a video so that I could watch it run through on video. Maybe just me, others maybe follow instructions. So I'm going to be filming that. That's the next video that's coming up and then we should do some testing after that I think of that one and that'll be the third video and I think that'll be all that's in this just now so so far I mean I've had this nearly a year do I think it's worth buying a K40 yet yeah, absolutely for £350 it's not a lot of money to pay out everything else that you add to it's not necessary the only thing that you really need is to make sure you're aligned properly with your mirrors you've got some air assist for cutting through wood um, I think the thickest I've cut through is 6mm I think MDF and I did that at 4mm a second and it was two passes at 5 um, mega ramps I think you call it MA for the current so and I did that in two passes I try not to ever have my power above 7 it's never gone about above 7 on this tube um, to hopefully Give me some extra life in this tube tubes are not that expensive i think this one was 112 it was pre-wired didn't film it because i'm not saying i do things the right way so but it was quite a straightforward fit uh, lots of people on forums and that out there and lots of videos as well showing you how to do that so showing you how to do the unwired one the one that i got was pre-wired so it made it even easier so anyway any questions uh, let me know down below just remember I am learning too so you know I'm no expert at this this is all about learning and reading going into the forums and seeing what other people have done it's really important this is not a machine that you just get dropped through the door and expect to be running perfect until you've done some work to it but for 350 quid well worth it once you get it set up cuts beautiful anyway Thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for the next video coming very soon.